No, I'm at the Booth International Circuit here in Greater Noida and I'm getting goosebumps because this is this day has to be one of the landmark days um, of my life as a motorcycle journalist and not so much as a rider you'll get to know in a while why I'm saying this but for the movement this is my new Street Fighter V4S that I got done in the Joker livery so if you don't know why I got it done in Joker livery is because the front has been designed keeping the Joker in mind officially by Ducati but this bike is nothing compared to what is there inside this and that only thing which is separating these motorcycles from the hallowed air of the Pudent Rattle circuit is a thin cover here which I'm going to take out and uh, last time I saw this motorcycle while you still guess it was in the World Ducati week 2014 so you can imagine how rare that is this one is and you can also probably guess which brand this is this is one of the most exclusive motorcycles in the world you can get and the closest to a MotoGP bike so the moment of truth guys here we go oh 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 oh, oh. Oh my god, now do you see which bike is this? Oh my god. Yo, I'm getting goosebumps right now. And although I know I won't be able to ride it, this is a piece of history. This is India's first Desmos Adichie RR, if I'm not wrong. I don't know of anyone else who's got this. And the best part is, this is zero miles. This is brand new. It has never been ridden and it will never be ridden because this is meant for a museum. Now, I want to call two people here just to give, you know, just to thank them, you know, because they gave me this opportunity. I want to call JD, bhai. Aap to sabse pehle video bana tha mana. So, this guy is called Hex Code uh, or JD and he works wonders with, you know, motorcycles and electronics. And of course, Monty, bhai, he's already ready in Ducati livery. Absolutely. Yeah, you will 100%. And of course, we took the delivery of this yeah. bike from his showroom. So thanks to him and NSA for reviving the Ducati culture here in North India. I don't know where this bike has been bought from. Probably from USA, Italy or maybe Europe. But wherever it has been bought from, it's one thing is for sure. This was born in Bologna in Italy. And this is number 0860 and only 1500 of these were built. But I think we should actually take, take it out properly and put it somewhere nice and then we'll talk about this bike more. Whoa! Things have just gotten a lot more hotter. I thought that I had a niche bike and but guys this is the Desmo Zedici RR here right here in India in front of the Booth International Circuit the best possible match you can have for this motorcycle here in India the best better half or whatever you want to call it but unfortunately we are not going to ride this motorcycle on the track because this is a zero mile brand new motorcycle and I think this is one of the very few bikes please don't don't hate me for it that should not be ridden because now they don't make it anymore you know i mean they only made 1500 of these in 2007 and this bike is truly something which i never thought i'll be able to see in india right here I and mean, literally my mind is blown even the console still has the the cover, you know, the, the plastic cover. Jise hum panni kehte hain Hindi mein. Wo abhi bhi chadi hui hai ispe. So guys, this, this is amazing. And of course, this is just a new kid on the block in front of this. Although this has got more horsepower, more bells and whistles. In fact, this has got no electronics at all. Uh, but you must remember something. That this was made in 2007, which is... 15 years ago, one and a half decades ago, they had 200 horsepower from 179 kgs dry, if I'm not wrong. So all these uh, 
numbers you know they hardly matter now because this has been set in concrete in history you know this is the ducati desmos edici rr a rare motorcycle and one that collectors would give an arm for but why is it so special so in 2001 ducati announced that they were working on something that would spell the comeback to moto gp in 2003 the ducati desmos edici debuted in moto gp and its outright speed blew everyone's mind Ducati knew that they had a winner on their hands when Loris Caprosi took it to his first victory in 2003 Catalonia GP. It was a stellar season considering it was their first one. But in 2004 Ducati made an announcement at the World Ducati Week and it sent shock waves throughout the motorcycling community around the world. Their Desmos Edici racer was coming to the road. a street legal production version called the Desmos Edici RR a road going version of the first Desmos Edici to set race tracks on fire the D16 RR as it's also called made nearly 200 bhp of power from its 989 cc Desmodromic 90 degrees v4 imagine that kind of power propelling a motorcycle that weighed only 179 kg and that too in 2007 This phenomenal motorcycle was limited to 1500 units only and this one is 860 out of that. And preference was given to the owners of the Ducati Triple Line R. Another home relation special. Now do you know how advanced the Desmos Edici RR was for its time? Well in terms of the rider rates it gets a shift light and that's it. Traction control is optional. Another peculiar thing about the Desmos Edici RR is the 16-inch rear wheel, which takes bespoke Bridgestones. For most part, people swap them out the 17 inches, as the bespoke tires came at a maddening price. As does this motorcycle. The Desmos Edici RR was available in two color options. One was the Rosso GP, which is this one, and one was the Team version, which had a white stripe on its fairing. Being a replica of the Ducati's Moto GP racer, the GP16. It came with a racing kit that included a race-only exhaust system, which was probably called a GP7, a slip-on muffler, a race ECU with tuned fuel and ignition mapping. While well, Ducatis are special, that we know, and this is a special, special Ducati. If you just could imagine how I'm feeling right now, well, I'm sure even the Street Fighter V4 here is quite jealous. But let me tell you a bit more about this. Now. Here the exhausts are actually facing up towards the heavens and they get really hot. But because the exhausts are so hot, the tail part is made of ceramic carbon fiber composite. And the wheels were a first. These were magnesium wheels from Marchesini. And all this in 2007. Can you imagine that? Well, what's more? It's got 16 valves and that's why it is also called the D16 RR. There's one more thing. When this bike was launched it was around 40000 pounds and now it is around 80000 pounds but i have no idea how much this bike will be costing because this is a zero miles motorcycle brand new but what is this if you don't hear the sound and actually i get to switch it on so probably you're already listening to all the bikes going around the circuit here but this one i'm sure is going to take the cake So here we go. This is what heaven sounds like.
that was like one probably god is angry he sounds like this that is all i can say just for comparison let me so join the street fighter v4 and i hope that it doesn't make fun of itself but this is what a stock street fighter v4 sounds like and this one is the ps6 version so it's supposed to be mellow but this is one of the loudest sounding stock bikes you never get to hear so here we go it's like a kid in front of that now there is so much in common with these two bikes and so much which is which is not common is the fact that both are v4s and this is the v4 from 2007 and this is a v4 from 2021 Of course all the latest bells and whistles here all the electro wizardry here electronics but nothing here not even traction control what this is as raw as it gets and of course if you want to prove that you are a good rider you'd actually take this motorcycle on the track and the thing with this bike is that it is not easy to ride that is what i've actually gathered from the internet from people who have ridden it this is quite a uh, something to handle on the road and this is best ridden on the track where it's free this i i have to i'm the first one to kiss this motorcycle in india if that counts <laughs> but uh, oh my god i can literally feel how moto gp riders must be feeling you know i mean and this is so light you know you can it feels that it doesn't even have a motor it's so so light it's it's extremely light so that's about it guys i mean uh, i can't say much except the fact that you can probably catch this motorcycle in a museum here in india very soon for the time being it will be displayed here in budh international circuit for the next couple of days at the isbk track day so far so good So they have been imported by Eurocycles India who are also building a resort with a museum with these motorcycles near Lucknow in a village called Amavan so you can shortly go over there and see all these bikes over there except this one of course and uh, all i can say is that uh, right now what i'm riding with the street rider V4S is the closest to a moto gp bike you know you can own for the road or rather you know the V4SP is even closer but um it's 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 been a privilege to be in the company of this motorcycle and uh, do keep an eye on eurocycles india they keep importing new motorcycles and keep adding them uh, into the museum so basically that was a brain child of a person called mr samir who's from lucknow he is now 62 years old and his passion for motorcycles still is has to be seen to be believed and this is one of the uh, products of his passion so hats off to people like him that we got to see we get to see these kind of motorcycles in india and i'm glad that india has its own desmos edici that also zero miles and uh, see you on the road